Hey guys, it's Shanrock. So today I'm going to talk about how I lost over 20 pounds. I have lost weight before in the past and it was not in a healthy way whatsoever. This way is a lot different and I really hope you guys watched this one. I actually put my other weight loss video on private since it was not healthy at all. This video may be slightly controversial for my channel, especially for some of the stuff that has popped up, but I still think that it, they all go hand in hand with each other. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video. I ended up going to intuitive eating. This really helped me heal my relationship with food in general along with the relationship of myself. However, I'm still on the journey of trying to love and accept myself. So I definitely don't want to be hypocritical. I'm still not there, but I'm definitely way better than I ever have. I also took this hand in hand with calorie awareness. Now, I think this is a term that's important. Calorie awareness pretty much means that I'm taking into account, I know about how many calories I'm eating every single day. This can get very, very destructive in some people's minds, especially when they're dieting or losing weight or gaining weight. This can get very dangerous. I think without intuitive eating, this would lead back into a really, really bad hole. So I think doing both of these things together are really what's gonna help. So my calorie amount, I actually do about half pound a week on the Lose It app. And this is to ensure slow and steady wins the race. If you do two, three, four, five pounds a week, you're gonna be eating way too little for your body, you're gonna feel like garbage, and you're just not gonna do well in general. So if you do the highest amount of calories available to lose that weight in general, you're gonna feel a lot better. And plus, more food. Who can complain about that? It's also gonna be a lot easier because you'll be able to have a longer amount of time to teach yourself how to eat without depending on an app. A lot of people eat so little and are so dependent on the app to lose weight, it gets extremely destructive. And I'm not recommending calorie counting for everyone. It's only for a few amount of people. It can, as I said before, calorie counting can get very destructive don't know what you're doing and if you don't take care of yourself mentally so definitely do what works for you you want to do something that you can live and learn from you another reason why I've lost weight is because I have learned how to love working out and I only work out because I want to I don't work out because I have to I standardly usually work out about three times a week about an hour each session at a gym I do lots of weightlifting and about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes of cardio on a treadmill or any other new machines that are at Planet Fitness. When you make that mental change of moving because you want to and you love it and instead of feeling forced, it's way more enjoyable, you get way more work out of it and you come out of the workout feeling really good about yourself. And I think that's something that's really important that's not addressed entirely within the weight loss or health communities. I think you really need to find your reasons for why you love moving, what reasons do you like going to the gym, what do you like to do at the gym, and don't do the things that you hate. I personally don't like workout classes because I feel they're way too hard for my level I'm at right now, and also I don't have any control anymore. And if I just felt so exhausted compared to everyone else, if I left, I feel like I'd look like a loser. And to me, that would just feel awful. So I usually do a lot of solo things. Another thing that has helped me lose over 20 pounds is creating healthier habits. So I've tried to meditate at least three times a week. I try to do yoga at least three times a week. It's never set in stone. With whatever program or life changes you want to do, you want to make sure it is a guidebook and not a rule book. I've also tried to improve on getting more sleep at night, improving my relationship with myself and with food and with my whole life in general. I'm trying to enrich my life. As another healthy habit I want to elaborate on, I think self-compassion is something you really need to work on. You need to love yourself no matter what size you're at. That's not a bad thing to be fat or skinny. Like, fat is not synonymous with ugly. You want to accept where you're at right now. Feel free to look at health at every size. That is definitely something that has made me feel a lot better and has helped with self-acceptance. With that being said, the reason why I am choosing to do this is because I'm in a point in my body right now where I don't feel comfortable where I don't feel comfortable. I would never want to be a skinny mini because I don't feel that would fit my body. I do still want to be a cute chubby if you would, but I definitely want to get some of this weight off simply so it'll allow less pressure on my joints. It can help my wounded shoulder on this side as well as just 
helping my life experience overall not being so tired all the time. Another tip I have is drink a lot of water. Slightly hypocritical with this because I have a really, really bad time constantly always drinking water. I usually go through phases of like drinking three liters for like two weeks and then not drinking a lot of water for two weeks. This is actually one of my New Year's resolutions just to try and drink more water in general. This isn't for any sort of weight loss thing. In general, to be quite honest, if you drink more water, your body's going to function better and you're going to feel a lot better too. Especially if you have a lot of coffee or any other sort of diuretics like caffeinated tea, it's a really good idea to make sure to stay on top of your hydrate. My last tip is really to take care of yourself mentally. A weight loss journey isn't necessarily a physical game, it's more of a mental game. It's something you really have to take care, extra care of when you're going through this. You're constantly challenged by what people say, you're constantly challenged by online and saying you should do this, this, and this, this should be a rule book, you need to do this, and work out 10 million times a week, and be like this definition of a perfect fitness freak. And you know, real life happens. You gotta remember that you are a person. You have a job. You may or may not have kids. You may or may not be married. You have other things to do. You don't want this to take up your entire life and headspace. You want to do this simply to feel better or feel healthier, not feel so sluggish all the time. You don't want to do this because someone else told you you had to. You want to do this for your own very, very good reasons and you want to make sure that they're positive good reasons and not anything negative. Taking care of yourself, I would also recommend meditation. Meditation is very, very good and it has helped me beyond what I can even express, especially in the weight loss journey, especially with what I've been through before. I definitely wanted to make sure that if I, when I decided to do this, I wanted to be extremely careful about what I was going through, wanted to really take care of myself mentally, and once and for all do this so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i can't wait to see you guys again if you guys like the video make sure to like comment subscribe hit the bell you guys know that drill and i will see you guys at another time toodles